How can we reduce the blank tape problem to the halting problem? Well, first of all, why would you want to? Here, here's the situation. Basically, let's suppose that you know that the halting problem is undecidable. And somebody comes up to you and says, well, I have this blank uh, tape pr problem, and maybe that one's decidable. Uh, let's, let's review what the halting problem What is the halting problem? The halting problem says that, that uh, uh, if you input a machine, a Turing machine, and a character string, words, whatever you want to call it, to, to this machine, this universal Turing machine, that um, it's going to come up with a yes, the string satisfies the machine, it halts on it, no, the machine crashes, or the, it's possible it might loop forever. So we basically have one, halt, two, crash, three, loops forever. The halting problem basically says that you can never be sure that the machine won't loop forever. It's undecidable. Well, what about this blank? What if we don't put any word at all? What if we just put a blank tape? Is that, pro is that problem going to be decidable? Well, think about this. Let's suppose we have this, this machine that's um, a blank tape machine, and it does tell. If you have a blank tape in a machine, it'll tell you one way or the other whether or not it halts. Well, that, if that was true, we could create this a, a universal Turing machine, and inside of this universal Turing machine, we could have the blank tape problem. That would give us yes or a no. And basically we could feed this a blank and then we could feed the, the, the machine would be the machine the same machine as this machine except with that with this word written on the tape so all we would have to create is a, a new little conversion program C that says if the tape is blank on some given machine write um, a W on it and then execute uh, M with that input W just as we would here okay so let's let's try that let's create a machine C and this machine C is going to take the same inputs here and it's going to output what it's going to output a machine that has that's exactly the same as this machine except it has the word W on the tape. So if we have if we have this machine here, this inputs these inputs here, and a machine, we know for sure that this might it might loop forever. So here we have a machine, the same basic machine inputs, and this other machine, which is the same as this machine. But this is saying that, that uh, it will only output yes or no. That's impossible. Because so we're basically we're reducing this this uh, uh, blank uh, this this halting problem to the blank tape problem. We're converting this into something that the blank tape problem can satisfy. So what this is showing is that if this if the halting problem is undecidable, which we know it is, that the blank tape problem must be undecidable. That uh, that yes, it might it might loop forever, just the same as the other one. Because if it didn't loop forever, you could use the blank tape problem to solve the halting problem, and that's not possible. This is a little bit tricky to uh, to comprehend, so take your time to to understand this. We're saying step one: the halting problem we know is undecidable. Step two, we want to prove that the blank tape problem is undecidable. And we want to prove that by reducing the halting problem to the blank, blank tape problem. And the way we do that is we, cr we, we create a big box, which is the old problem, and in, the, in a small box, which is the, the new problem that we're trying to prove, and a conversion box, which converts the problem we know how to solve into this problem that we're not quite sure of. So 
Um, I'm sure that some something on the test is going to have this form on it. So hopefully this is helpful. If you have any questions, definitely email me because I want to make sure everybody gets this one right. But uh, hopefully that will help you, help you score on the test.